Hey, what's up, YouTube Rect here? I'm going to do a money making video right now. That's not the best intro, but this is an updated one from the one I did before on my old account, which is now RuneScape 3. Um, but this is old school RuneScape, and let's get started. Okay, we're in Varrock, uh, trading Zaf for our battle staffs. Probably already know this, but I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, I'm gonna go along the same guidelines as last money making video for the previous version of RuneScape, but I have a few more tricks up my sleeve. Uh, probably this some of the same tricks, uh, a little bit easier since there's like no botters. Um, so you go over here, sell your battle staffs that you just bought from Zaf. Make a decent amount of profit. Not bad. I just had 90 so K. Now I have 102K. Alright. Um, go to the GE. Buy some flax. And turn that flax into bowstrings. An easy 169K. I mean 169 GP. Uh, from then you get craft crafting XP. You get like 15 crafting XP per bowstring. Which is kind of poop. But it's not bad. Uh, uh, Towermans and Vial of Water. Uh, you can buy them both. Doesn't matter. You can make your own vials of water. But you'd rather just buy them both. Um, mix them all together. And you get the unfinished potion. Thus making over 50% of profit. Um really not bad so buy those in the GE and get that and then sell it uh, the classic copper ore and tin ore you buy them and then you smith them to get the bronze bar and then you get smithing XP plus you get a decent amount of profit from that uh, I'm gonna put like in the title or the description for low levels only because I know a lot of people go for like dicing and flipping and go for like the grand exchange and do the stock market on there, which you can do. Uh, you can also go to like um, all the other bosses. You can go to Steel Dragons if you want. It's, it's not it's not bad money making over there. Um, I just have never been there with this account yet. Um, I kind of want to just like rack up some money to buy some good gear or better gear and just train up my uh, range and mage but that's besides the point um, uh, one thing that I did find was uh, how can I train my magic level without losing money by alking like this guy right here he's probably losing money if not maybe breaking even um, I found a way that I will never lose money while alking uh, while alking um, let me bring up the, my handy dandy world map. All right. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where was I going with this? I was going somewhere. Oh, over here. An arty. Go over here. There is coal and iron ore in this area. Uh, you mine them both, and you bank right here. Now, the reason for that is, so you gain money. You gain a lot more instead of just buying it. Because if you buy it, you'll be spending 547 GP. Now, it's not bad. 547 GP, and then you smelt them all together to get the steel bar. And you get, like, I don't know, a... 100 GP you get like 100 GP profit it's not bad it's really not bad I'll put like I'll, I'll probably put all the math in there um, with like a caption or whatever now once you get the steel bar right um, you have to do the dwarf cannon quest in order to smelt these steel bars into cannonballs to get the ammo mode you go to Varrock through the ice mountain and you buy it off this dwarf for 5 GP 
It's really not bad. And then with the steel bar, you craft it with using a furnace to make cannonballs. Making about a 250 GP profit. Okay. Now, what I mean by smithing this... Um, this goes for iron ore as well. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna smell iron ore, it's like a fifty percent or fifty five percent, forty five percent, whatever the hell it is, chance of getting an iron bar. Now, to guarantee an iron bar one hundred percent, you need a ring of forging. Correct? Yes. Another way is super heat item. This guarantees you the smithing rate to one hundred percent. 110%, why not? Uh, you can use that for steel bars as well. Um, you can, you can uh, craft nature runes if you want, or you can just buy them straight out of the GP for like 161 GP. Ooh, actually, I think it's more. Oh boy. I think it's like way more than that. Oh, 306. So... Let's let's see here. Let's let's do this. Got the iron bar over here. So don't, this is what I'm saying. Don't buy it. If you buy it, you're gonna lose money. So go over to the area that I said. If you want to go backtrack and find it, it's near Artie. It's like west. It's east, northeast of Artie, from the central area. And then you mine this. And then you superheat item to this, to the iron bar. Now, thus doing so, you'll gain about 114, or no, 14 GP. So you're not losing anything. If anything, you're probably breaking even. Um, which is why I'm saying to do steel bars. Because if you do the steel bars and do the chain that I said, you won't be losing any money, really. So say if you have all of this in your inventory, and you don't buy it all, and you make the steel bar, that's 671 GP. And if you buy the, if you buy this nature rune, it's 306, 310 GP. So you'd be making 300 GP off of the super heat item. And if you want to go further in crafting the cannonball, I can't trade that item, that's okay you'll be making about 600 GP profit. And that's just off of getting mage experience, and also it does smithing experience as well. I have a crap load. I mean, like, a crap load of uh, things that I mine. So that's about... You, you go by the coal? No, you go by the iron. So that's about 500 bars of steel bars. Um, I bought these because I wanted to do uh, steel tips for darts, or steel dart tips, so I can train my fletching. Apparently, I need some sort of quest to do so. Um, I don't really feel like questing, so I'm probably just going to smell all those into um, cannonballs to make a uh, make my money back and make a profit as well. Um, if you want, you can do the the gold bar. For 181 GP into the gold bracelet for that. You can do that as well. You just have to buy the uh, the bracelet mold, which is like 300 GP or so. I really don't know. But either way, you'll be making a decent amount of money. Okay, it's 430 GP, but you make that back in about, what, five bars? It's not bad. Plus, you get crafting SP, and then you get smithing SP. Um, if you want to go and get gold yourself, you make even more money. Um, so, if you have 100k, you are guaranteed to make money. At least a decent amount of money. Like I said in the video before, you have to be consistent. You cannot just be like, Oh, I'm going to do this right now, I'm going to do what this guy says. And, oh, why is it taking me so long to get 100 
bow strings. Well, it's going to take you long to get 100 bow strings. I'm not going to lie. It's going to take you a while. Um, so put, put the RuneScape video to the corner of your screen and open up YouTube and search up more videos and like sort of AFK for a bit or bring up some uh, anime and just watch some videos. I don't know. Um, and another money-making way, I'm going to bring up Artie again, is if you have a friend or someone on RuneScape that you know, um, you could do runs. Let, let's say if you want to gain uh, your mining level uh, over here, an iron ore. There's like three rocks right here. One, two, three. And all you have to do is like stand in the middle and you're like boom, 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 boom. And you have like a full inventory and like, I don't know, like two and a half minutes, two minutes or whatever. Um, well, get your friend and you both will make money on this. And instead of like dropping it, because a lot of people over here just drop it, and you can go over there and just take take all their stuff and then bring it back and go back. It uh, d- doesn't matter. But to get the mining experience, it's thirty five XP per iron ore, and fifty XP if you were wondering for uh, coal. Um, so get your friend, and maybe he could be like in the area. Uh, maybe like uh thieving training thieving or doing agility over here and have them buy the iron ore off you for i don't know like 120 gp each or 100 gp each uh something cheap something so you can make money and he can make money or she can make money at the same time Uh, and you'll be getting the uh the mining experience and instead of wasting time and dropping it all, because you have to right click and then go down to drop, and that takes 0.3 milliseconds, which is a lot of time in RuneScape. It's 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 it's, it's a click or a tick rather. Um, so to have your friend do runs as well with you and just help you out. I mean, I don't have anyone to do that with me, but it was just an idea that I had in my head when I was uh, mining over there. I was like, maybe instead of going to the bank, because this is a pretty long run to go to a bank and I I was like is there any other banks well there's one in the legends guild but I can't get there um yeah and that's about it I mean uh, fishing guild sharks are now at 1k each of raw sharks and which is that's pretty good so fishing guild is always great uh, in my last video I did uh, ran our seeds and I love this city. The city is amazing. Uh, you go to this farming patch. You buy a, ran- a Ranar seed. And within the farming patch, you can get like five or six Ranars. And just by doing that, with uh, 32 farming, you can get like a 18k or 9 to 18k profit. And that's if you use the magic clippers. I still can't say it, but... <laughs> You, that's when you use the magic clippers. Um, I don't know what it is for regular ones. It might be just three Ranars, two or three, which is still not that bad. Uh, last video that I posted, I went over here and I killed tortoises for the tortoise shells. And they are still there. They're, I've recently just went over there just to check if it was still there and it was dead. There was nobody there. There's 79, and then you have one that's like Dolby, that's like 898 or whatever. And then you just kill them for the tortoise shells, and you'll make some money. I mean, I might go there to train like, I don't know, like range or mage, and maybe like do some alking or, or some sort. I mean, I still have to do a lot of training and a lot of questing on this account, uh, because I want to get over here. I want to fish monk fish and get my fishing and uh, cooking up, but that's that's pretty much it. Um, I really don't know of any other way to make money other than Slayer. Slayer's okay, but I really, really, really enjoy this uh, the super heat item because I get my mage experience. It's like. 53, I'll do it right now, why not, okay, I believe you click on the coal, nope, 
iron, 53.18. And I just got the steel bar. So I got 53 mage and 18 smithing. Now it's not a lot of smithing, but it's another, it's another, it's another level that I'm gaining. It's, it's not bad. And I'm, and I didn't lose anything. I really didn't lose anything because I've mined all that ore and I just bought the nature runes. And I just made, I'm going to go over here again. I just made 360 something GP. And then with this steel bar, I'm going to pretty much compare it like that. I have a calculator here as well, 996 minus 306. That's 690 GP that I just made in like two seconds. So it's really not bad. I'm probably going to do all of this in, uh, not Faldor, um, over here, rather, Alcarid. Probably just do that right here. You know? It won't take long. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more videos. I did just figure out my password for this account. And I'm like super amped so I could start making more videos. And I'm super amped that old school RuneScape is sweet. Uh, I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to just gain my levels, gain my bank back, and just like, I don't know, do some random stuff that I've been missing out on, like PKing, you know, like this wilderness right here is just lacking a crappy PKer like me. It's just lacking that. Um, Edgeville, best place. If you want to make more money, you go down to in, the, in this dungeon right here, and you go over to where the monks are and you kill all the monks and it's wilderness but it's only level three and people are pretty much cool there um they drop all types of herbs you get the herbs they drop uh, vials of water as well and you can make unfinished potions right there and just bank i mean that's a money-making way as well i just haven't been going going there in a while um I've I went there and I made a tab just for that so I could train on herb lore, but I kind of like died down a little bit on it because it's boring as hell. <laughs> um, I'm having more fun with this uh, super heat item and this cannibal little trick so I can uh, make money and gain levels. So I mean I have some goals right now. One of my goal is uh, 59 mage, uh, 60. 61 I think 61 because I want 61 mining because I want this I want a dragon pickaxe because the rune pickaxe is slow as hell and I just like I'm sick of it I just want the dragon pickaxe that's that's all I want um, I want my crafting level up uh, don't know why I just like crafting uh, I need to build my construction house I need a house because I want a portal room and I recently read the new dev blog, and there's a whole bunch of stuff coming to construction, PKing, and RuneScape in general, old school RuneScape in general, and it looks amazing. So maybe I'll go over the dev blog with you guys, or maybe not. I'm, th there's already other videos out there. I'm kind of like inexperienced to that. Uh, but yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for viewing this. Have a nice day.